welcome back to my channel. I just recorded my order of the Blank Label Alice in Wonderland sampler. This is my Blank Label Lana Del Rey sampler. I ordered them both together about five weeks ago and received them today. Um, so to just get started, this one is also 10 cent shots and it was also $20. This first one here is called This Is What Makes Us Girls. This is Sweet Strawberry Slices, Pink Chiffon, Pink Stilettos, and Cotton Candy Frosting. That's the design. Okay. This one is very girly. I don't pick out strawberry, but I definitely get that pink chiffon. Um, I'm not sure what pink stilettos is. But I get like a really sweet pink chiffon, almost, I wouldn't say perfumey, but there's another really girly note in there. And I'm going to assume that's the pink stilettos. That one's really girly, not necessarily fruity, just really girly. Very girly. That one's nice. This next one here is called Young and Beautiful. And it's sweet pineapple juice, tart satsuma, and sparkling cream soda. Oh my goodness, wow. That Satsuma is really nice. I don't usually like Satsuma. Um, in my first video, if you've watched that, I know I talked a little bit about Satsuma and how I feel about it and how I didn't like it, but I was trying to. This one's really good. I don't get that, I mean, I do get that orange that's in Satsuma, but this one's a little bit different and it must be because it's blended with that pineapple juice. I can't pick out sparkling cream soda per se, but that must be what's kind of cutting down that those really strong notes, that really strong note of that pineapple and the really strong orangey notes since that suma. I think that cream soda is kind of cutting it in a little bit and you, on the very end you do get a creaminess to it, like the, like from a cream soda. I wouldn't get, I don't get fizzy, but. If you've ever had a cream soda and you open it and you take that first sip and then when you're done you, you get that sweetness. It's not creaminess per se, but it's just that that sweetness that's on the end. I do smell that here. Wow, that one's very nice. This next one here is called Down on the West Coast. This one is coconut milk. Can you see that? There you go. Coconut milk, sweet guava fruit, and a hint of pink sugar. That's this one. I love the color on this one. I can almost see, I don't know if the lighting is picking it up, but I see that orange and then also some pink in there. I think it's all coming up pink on my screen, but in person I see more of an orange and then some pink stripes through it. It's really pretty. This one is amazing. That guava, I love the smell of guava. I really do. I don't like pink sugar. I know I'm in the minority there. Most people love pink sugar blends. I don't. Um, so I don't pick up pink sugar. But I do get coconut milk and that guava and it's like a... I, wanna, I keep wanting to say creamy, but it's not creamy. It's not creamy that comes in a bakery scent. It's a creamy that like, like smooth. That's what it is. It's a smooth guava scent. Maybe somebody else who does like pink sugar, who melts a lot, could pick up pink sugar in it. I don't, which is good. But that one's really good. I love guava. I need to get some more guava blends in my life. This next one is my favorite on design, hands down. I love the ocean. I love the beach. I love mermaids. I love seashells. I love it all. So this one is just gorgeous. Very nice. And this one is High by the Beach, which is also one of my favorite Lana Del Rey songs. It's very fitting. This is Blonde Moment blended with luscious tropical fruits. And conveniently, I love tropical fruits and I love Blonde Moment. I don't think I've ever smelled a blend that had Blonde Moment in it that I didn't like. Oh, wow, I love that. It's like the sand and the water and then the seashell. Just A+. Plus. And oh my gosh... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I wish I had smell-o-vision so you could smell this. Oh my gosh. 
god, this is the best smell I've smelled all day. Oh my goodness. And I had Froyo today. Wow, that blonde moment is so there, but that tropical fruit, I'm not sure what's in it. I don't pick out like pineapple or cherries or anything particularly, but but it is a tropicalness to it. That is so good. I need this in a bakery bag. Please, Desiree, if you're watching. Oh my gosh, please. Wow. That is amazing. I don't want to stop sniffing it. Okay. Next. Oh my goodness. All right. Next is Brooklyn Baby. Um, I did have this one. I also have this in a four pack. And Brooklyn Baby is fresh raspberry shave cream and a hint of spearmint. Now this one I totally prefer over the White Rabbit from the Alice in Wonderland sampler. Where that one I couldn't smell a ton of shaving cream. This one I really do. And this one's really unique. I've never smelled a blend quite like this of shaving cream. Oh, and even the scent shot, it just smells so good. I love those colors too. And I like that you can really pick out that spearmint. Usually in shaving cream blends that have mint in it, you can't really pick out what kind of mint it is. And this one is totally, you do get it at spearmint. And it just goes so good with raspberry, I would have never thought. So that one is a favorite of mine for sure. This next one is adorable. I love the cherry. And this is called Mountain Dew. I'm sorry, Diet Mountain Dew New York City. Or New York, I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard that song actually. This is Fizzy Diet Mountain Dew Soda Pops, laced with mango syrup, garnished with a sweet maraschino che uh, cherry. Wow. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be for me, um, but I'm, it's not my favorite. It's definitely not this one. <laughs> I love the triple layer in this. Very cute. Um, I don't like fizzy scents and I don't like cherry. So, right away you would think that I would hate this, but I don't hate it. It smells familiar, honestly. It smells almost like, I want to say a Shirley Temple, but mixed with something else. I don't know if I'm going to melt this one. I might maybe cut off a third and try this in my bedroom or um, maybe even in a bathroom. I know that sounds weird, but it's not bad. I just... I don't know. That cherry notes really sits on top. It's like a base of that soda, that Mountain Dew. I don't really get a lot of mango syrup, but it is sugary sweet. It's very sweet. Definitely not a favorite. I would say that's my least favorite so far. Alright, this next one is called Dark Paradise. This is plums, raspberry jam, sweet nectar, and rose jam, which is a lush type. Oh, and I do get that rose jam. That's it. You know what? This might be my least favorite. I don't know. I get the rose for sure. And there is that, I guess it's that mix, I'm sorry, that mixture of the plums and the raspberry that comes out. I definitely smell. I can't pick them each out. I would say they're blended pretty well together. I don't get a sweet sweet nectar. This smells familiar though though to me. Maybe another perfume I've smelled before in the past. Years ago. This is an old smell that I've smelled before. So it makes it really hard to pinpoint it. Definitely not for me. That rose gem is strong in it, and I just I don't I don't typically do rose scents. Okay, this next one is called Coney Island Queen. Oh, how funny. This is horchata, coconut bourbon, and soft ice cream. Wow, this one's really unique. Um, I don't think I've ever had horchata, so I'm not quite sure what that smells like. I believe it's a drink. I do get that bourbon note in it, but it's not alcoholy, if that makes sense. But you do get that, that note that bourbon has to it if you've ever tasted it. The ice cream just kind of really cream smooths it, I would say. Kind of creams it a little bit. It's a very unique scent. I don't know if that one's for me. I may have to keep sniffing it a little bit and find out where I think that might be best to melt. This next one is called His Favorite Sundress. I'm really excited about this scent. This is crisp line dried linens, fresh cut grass, and a hint of juicy yuzu. I don't know what yuzu is. Wow, 
wow, I totally get, oh, that's gorgeous. I say I get that grass and then the linens the strongest. Maybe even the grass is stronger than the linens. It almost smells like a really beachy soap. That's really nice. This would be great to put someday this summer downstairs after I've done a lot of cleaning. My husband's getting ready to come home. I want it to smell like I've just been crazy cleaning all day. This would be a great scent to pop in. And this one is going to be strong, I can tell. So I think at most I would melt a half. I think I might do this in thirds. Make it stretch a little bit. That's Yeah, that would be too strong. This would be headache inducing, I think, if you were to just toss in the whole scent shot. No. That would be too much. But that one's nice. It's a, it's a nice take on a clean scent that I haven't really smelled before. And this last one here is called Music to Watch Boys To. This one is Homemade Sugar Clouds. I don't know what that smells like. Honeydew Melon and Juicy Pineapple Slices. That smells nice. And it is. Wow. I don't know what a sugar cloud is, so I really can't comment on that. Um, and I don't pick it out. But the honeydew in this is really strong, and I wasn't expecting that. Honeydew, for me, I don't usually tend to smell a lot. I kind of get it a little bit with whatever it's mixed in. This one is strong on the honeydew, and I appreciate that because I think it's a beautiful blend that doesn't get enough recognition. The pineapple is really nice in this. I wouldn't say it's like that true fresh pineapple, but it's also not that sugary, syrupy, gross pineapple. It's it's like an it's almost like a candied pineapple, or maybe that's just because of the honeydew. That could be what it is. But this one's really nice. It has if any if you know off of just thinking about it, what that honeydew scent is, it just like envelops the whole scent. It's like it just wraps the, the pineapple up in it and it just mmm. It's like pineapple infused honeydew, if that makes sense. That one is really nice. That would be a really nice summer blend to go downstairs. Okay, um, and I know I didn't cover the samples that came um, in my first video, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Desiree sent out two samples. The first one is Marry Me, and this is pineapple orange sherbet wedding cake. And that's what it looks like. And that's exactly what you get. Um, I'm not a fan of orange. Definitely not orange sherbet. I don't smell a lot of pineapple. I think I just really get that orange sherbet. So this one's not for me. I'll probably pass this along in a de-stash that I do. But I love the design on top. And this next sample is called Fizzy Lifting Drinks. This is Bahama Fizz, Melon Ball Fizz, and Blackberry Fizz. That one's really good. I definitely get that blackberry note. Um, I'm not... I think I get the Bahama Fizz too. I don't know what a melon ball fizz is, so I can't say if I smell that or not. I don't. Um, yeah, I get that blackberry and definitely Bahama Fizz. I think the Bahama Fizz is stronger. And you get that blackberry towards the end. And I don't get a lot of fizzy in this one like I thought that I would. Yeah, I don't get a lot of fizzy at all, actually. Okay, so that is my Lana Del Rey sampler from Blank Label. Thank you for watching.